Executive News of the Iglesia Cristo Church of Christ. Just a few hours ago, hundreds of brethren arrived early in the morning by bus and by rail. Many traveled for hours just to make it here. Despite the fatigue and lack of sleep, they could hardly contain their enthusiasm in being able to witness a worship service led by Brother Eduardo. Not only is it Brother Eduardo's first visit to this part of the world, but it is also a day that the whole church celebrates his birthday with him. Siya po yung may birthday, pero kami po yung niregaluhan niya nung pagdalaw niya dito. Maraming salamat po. Isa po itong malaking biyaya para sa distrito ng Northeast Asia, lalo lalo na po sa mga lokal na nandito sa Korea. It is not only the birthday of Brother Eduardo that these brethren are celebrating, but they are extremely joyous of the love that they felt today. Yung damdaman namin ng pagmamahal nila sa buong iglesia. Brother Eduardo ka naige modern modern gosel chuasimida. Hananime marsinga sangyonge marsum kudame modern kipunga hengbogol naige chuasimida. I've been to three different countries, and he's been to three different countries. I've missed him each time except for here. So when he was coming to Seoul, it was very exciting to be able to see him, be able to be a part of it and everything. It was a very moving lesson that he taught. You could tell from his heart that he was speaking to the people and to the brethren. It was nice that they provided English because it was the Altagato service, so I could participate also. So it was very, very nice. The Iglesia Ni Cristo in South Korea began its mission in 1988 when a group worship service was established in Seoul. In 1994, they became an official local congregation. Since then, the following congregations have been established. Yongsan, Tegu, Busan, and Gwangju, plus group worship services in Goje and Gwangju Si. South Korea in general has made its mark in the world for having one of the fastest growing economies, for leading many fashion trends in Asia, and for its rich history and culture. While the history of this region continues to be written, the members here will never forget this visit of the executive minister. It is a day that they will tell their children about, and a day that will be etched in their hearts. Ang naramdaman ko po ng magsalita ang kapatid na Eduardo Manalo na kahit kami na malayo sa aming mga pamilya, dito po kami nagtatrabaho sa Barsang Korea, ang sitwasyon po namin ay napakahirap. Ay patuloy kami nagiging matibay sa kabila ng mga pagsubok, makahirapan, makalungkutan. Meanwhile, Brethren with their families here made sure they shared this unforgettable spiritual experience, emphasizing its great importance to their young children. It was a great honor to shake his hand. I had this little girl with me, so I was trying to watch her and everything, but he took his time, shook my hand and said hello to my little girl, so I was very, very pleased. He took a lot of time when he didn't need to. The members also use this special worship service as an opportunity to share their faith with their friends. For this visitor who traveled four hours to be here, she was impressed by what she saw and felt. Well, uh, nakita ko po kung gaano kamahal ng mga members of Church of Christ si Brother Eddie Manalo. 
Siyempre parang lalong lumaki yung uh, pagtingin ko sa iglesia, lalo na nung nakita ko kung gano'n nila nire-respect at saka minamahal yung uh, leader nila. Wala pong sukat na pamantayan ng kagalakan namin yes. ang lampay magdalaw. Maraming maraming salamat po at happy happy birthday po sa inyo. Happy birthday! Today, members of the church in South Korea felt the great concern and guidance of the church administration through God's words. Our Almighty God continues to bless His children in this part of the world, despite them living in a nation that is divided by conflict and the threat of war. In Seoul, South Korea, for the Executive News, I'm Brother Alex Valencia reporting for the Iglesia Cristo Television Network.